<laughs> oh my gosh, I'm at 2200 here. <laughs> All right, so. Or. Or. All right, so Bon Vic consistent now. Uh. So with a typical bad American, okay. Okay, yeah. I do not know any openings. Alrighty. Okay, so bishop d3 is a right. I need to know this queen side idea. Okay, queen d2, protecting b2. Uh, a3, b4 is a typical. F4, F5 is another ideal. Go in. Is he trying to push for here? But he can't because of this C5 here. So I'm going to play A3. Knight B here. Oops. I played that too early. Huh. All right, so he's trying to push for here. Okay, so I got to play Rook here. Maybe push for this. I don't know. Oh, okay, he's pushing already. Take, take, and then maybe I can. Don't push. All right, I'm thinking the D5 is going to be open, so I'm not going to take anything yet. But this could be totally the incorrect strategy to play. So, viewers. This question. <laughs> Timer. Oh, what? Okay. So in that case, he blocked up this whole file. F4 now? I want to maybe play the bishop here now? I mean, I don't care if he opens up, he can't... Do I just play this provocative move? And play this, trade off the dark square bishop? Then maybe play f4 right now? Maybe play f4 right now, or... Trade off the dark square, and then play f4. Because he's trying to secure this knight 5 post for his knight. So, I'm, I have to be willing to... Get rid of it with like night ticks, but f4 posts maybe so clear. Maybe let's put one night on. The idea is if he takes, then maybe I can have C takes, and then maybe B3. Have my Y square. Okay, so how do I take? I have, I have to take it towards the center. Or do I want to take it towards here so that I could play f4? So this f5 push is a little bit slower. I want to take here. 
Yeah, he's not ready. I mean, I or B4. And I They play b4 now or b4 takes okay if he takes takes then i can get the c file first takes and then take it this way then i play b4 immediately or do i do knight to, uh well position do this way if he does this way i also have the f4 push and i also have b4 push the idea is i'm going to attack on c5 as many times as possible so even b4 take 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 I just keep harassing before so like knight to c1 to b and still attacking here so i need to get oh i wish my rooks were already on the c file because that would have made uh this b4 push more effective so what my assumption was was terrible and this is me not knowing like the transition from opening to middle game um theories and stuff and that's why i'm a little bit intimidated by opening books they're like hey here's how you should play the english it's like well, it's not an opening book. It's like opening, middle game, pretty much the end game book of English. So, I I'm pretty much going to try to put my rooks on the C file and choke uh, his position. I mean, I need to get this. This is a backwards pawn. So ideally, if he does this, maybe he try a slowly, slowly but surely B attack my rooks. Um. I get my knight to like attacking on a d. That's good. Um, f4. I mean, the king side. I mean, there's three sides of the board so you can play on. Um, king side, center, or queen side. So center is locked up. So it's either queen side or king side. The only advantage I have is this bishop. I have. I have this. Okay, so you play that move. All right. So should I play? I had to play b4 now, or should I play b3? Like, what is he threatening? Or maybe I. Okay, maybe stack up and then play b4, right? Don't, don't show my hand yet. So this rook is not doing anything yet. So I'll play my rook here to rook, a, rook d to c1 and then b4, right? And then knight to c1, b3. And then a5, c6? Oh, that's a, my imagination, but yeah. Um, yeah, so rook c1 first, because I don't like the c4 push either. So let's see what he does here. I'm just... Uh, my route is defined. Rook c2, knight b3, or b4, knight b3. I mean, unless there's some tactics I'm going to miss on the king side. I mean, he has to play on the queen side too, so... Maybe knight b knight c1 knight knight b3 first. Ugh. Basically, I want to get to here, a5 and knight to c6. All right, so he's trying to open up this. Should I keep the choke going or allow this happen? I don't want this passed upon. Do I play c3? Um. All right, so he plays here. I can take, and then I, I'm still going to play this b4 idea. So, and here we go. Oh. Alright, so now I'm just trying to win some pawns here. Uh, so right now I'm threatening to win the c5 pawn. Take, 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 and then rook takes. But what does he have? I mean, okay, so it's not bad if I do like what? If he does like f takes e4, d takes e4, I'm taking the d e4 pawn too, you know, twice. And then I can also play a rook c2, rook c2, and then rook, just stack up on that pawn. I mean, he can't play something like c4 because I definitely have that covered. 
Uh, that should do it. I think this is good. I think this is good because his his bishops. It's a close position. I have the knight. I want ideally I want to transport this knight all the way to c6. So I mean, does he have like this discovery? If I take take take, I mean I'm not going to open up this pawn here. Um. Okay. So rooks. Came with my idea. Uh, of his better position. Move my pawn. Oh, is he okay? So take. What did he find that I didn't find? I play here. Pawn takes or pawn takes and then e4 right now. Oh, right, right, right. Because if I do this, he does. He has c4. Maybe do I take first, take here, and then take here, right? Back up. Knight c1. Then if you ever, yeah, yeah, yeah. So take here, take here. Oh, this is so sketchy. So sketchy. Four connection pass bones. Take here. Then I want to go my knight here, knight here. Or knight to here, attacking c5. Knight to c1, knight to c, knight to b3, knight to here, knight to c. Or maybe that's a stupid plan. Alright, so he's trying to trade out this knight. Off his color bishop? No. So, that. that. Came with a plan. Knight c5, attacking this pawn. Knight a4, knight 6. Um. And I okay, knight b3, rook c1, then I can play. No. If he pushes here, then same thing, same plan, knight c6. And if he, his rook is also, his queen is also on this b file. So if he plays c4, I can play rook takes and then maybe. Oh, this is a little bit sketchy. Uh, maybe that, that, I mean, that was supposed to be my counter. Maybe I can play f4, f4, e5, b6. Have this boom pawn chain right here. Get this bishop activated, and then I mean just hard counter with these pass pawns here because I got these you know all connected. But here three connected. I got these all protected. This knights are actually good at better. Um, excuse me. Knights are good at defending pass pawns. Um, so they say. So okay. So now he knows that I was going to do that. So. I can get some tempo moves so like h f4 and then completely switch sides on him maybe um because look his pieces are all going to be all clumped up over here i need to move my knight ah ha 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 there we go here be the tier attacking the cool i can maybe go a fork here so actually, knight d3 is a better route now because I got new perspectives now. Prospects. There we go. No, oh, of course I can't go knight d4. So if he pushes here, then I have knight b4 is in a nice home. And then I have back. And I have knight c6 and then knight here. Uh, knight hops. Knight hops. Knight here, here, here. Oh well. Uh. I like the f4. I like the f4, e5, and d6, and just have my light square bishop. But I mean, is that enough? It's not too clear. I mean, this is not an easy win so far. Or I mean, he could push a lot of pawns down. Yep. Okay. Here we go. All right. So c5 or c3. The rook, I can maybe. Looks nice. I need to play king h1 if I have to do. If I c3, everything's clear. Gosh. Alright, so no rook lifts at this. Okay, f4, f4, e5, definitely. I think I need to play this because I need to close off this diagonal. Or maybe play e5 and then queen here. Uh, this knight, this knight. Six attacking the rook, maybe. Alright, fine. So, king over. 
I'm push here again. H1, F4, E5. I don't know. Just blitz it out, I guess. King here. Oh, it's just. A... I thought I had all this, but maybe if I can just. If I can close off this diagonal. F4, E5, D6. Bishop check or knight knight two uh, knight to d five that sounds good one two three moves I needed to um, I mean this is hard to push forward right because I got two people on it and I just want to add a third here no because a six is hand here here I can occupy this and then if I can get the f four I can if I can get the f four e five and d six okay so all right so do I go here with the And this way, what he does. Hard counter, hard counter. So now knight. Okay, so f4, e5. f4, e5. Uh, he's trying to win this pawn. Right now, actually, he's trying to get this in. Eek. All right. So he can't push this. He can't. He maybe trying to win this. I need to play rook here now, right? Here to defend. I can play f4, f5, and bishop is ugh, so powerful now. Now the double bishops are actually pretty good in this position. Nice c3 right now. This block, this blockade. I mean, all the pawns are on light squares. If I can keep them on dark squares, that's what I'm trying to do. Try to keep these pawns on light squares. Make my pawns on dark squares so then my bishop is more active. Um. But here, knight here. Let's see what luck I can do. What miracle I can pull it through. Alright, so he's trying to attack this pawn. Got four connected passers. I have here. Ah, uh, going south, isn't it? Whatever. Keep the original plan. Night here, night here, night two f six. <laughs> I wish. That would be an awesome night. Back here twice. Five same for you. Knight c six and then d four. I'm going to sack uh sack on b four then knight two so I can play knight to d five. Man, scary scary game. I uh, for a pawn I'm going to try to go knight c three knight d five and then knight d seven check or knight e seven check. D3, knight d5, and then knight e7 check. Check. Uh... What's this threat here? Take? If I can move the queen away, I can play knight to queen here, I guess. But I don't want to lose this. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I need to get rid of this bishop. This this bishop is actually doing a lot. Uh, uh, because I, I can't move my queen away because then he has d2 push. Attacking my queen and attacking this rook. So. Oh, uh, this is going to be... If he plays b3, then I know I can secure this. And then lock everything down with like rook here and then c3 and then I don't know. This, I have his pawn chain, he has this pawn chain, I have 
these two guys. <laughs> uh, this is so bad. So bad. No. I'm also looking for maybe push. Or maybe I, I mean I have this one check here. This is that one check I could do. Maybe there's some ideas there. So far the idea is well. So far the idea is stop all these pawns and then counter with uh, my bishop d5 check or something here. At least two what? Take take take. Oh no, but that's that's too many pass pawns. Yep, yep, yep. Am I forced to do this, right? Do I want my bishop on that side, or do I want my bishop here? Because I got one spy check right now. Knight was supposed to be f6 already. <laughs> my imagination. I guess I have to take, right? And then play... Queen G. When's this down piece? Good game. Yeah.